right, so we are up and we are at it. And Sophie is on Chino today, uh, working on building muscle and figuring things out because he's a better fit for her right now while she's going through a really awkward stage. I wanted to tell you guys, because a lot of you guys don't know this, but when kids are growing at that stage in development when they're growing really, really fast, we've always been told that kids who I've we and we've seen it a lot of kids who've like been really good riders all along will go through this stage when their body is growing and they're so gangly and especially like people who are have a bit more weight to them it even makes it a more a more awkward time in their growth and their development and they grow out of that and they come back out of it right now Sophie's growing so big so even like riding a different horse riding in general everything in general she's just growing into her body and trying to figure it out and and it's just an awkward stage and many people have gone through that themselves or Sophie really gets nervous when she rides new horses and there we go Close off the palm of saddle, right? Reach down into your heel, use your calf muscles, close them together to get your balance and support, okay? I love the things you said, you said to me, to me, it seems like you like me too. We can take it slow, make sure we do this right. Sophie, remember you gotta support him a lot more. Push him back forward. Be with you tonight, tonight. So just sit with me, talking to the night until the morning, building cat mystery. I don't think I. Keep your hands nice and with, pressing forwards. I know, both aren't separated. Keep your hands Use your calf muscles, close your thighs, more support on this, on this long side of the pole to get the shrink and step and use the hind end a little bit more. Easy. There we go. Keep pressing and bringing his nose to the inside. Inside side pushes them out. Close Always the face. Close the And then just balance and support and then inside leg and push it back through it, okay? To me, it seems like me too we can take it slow make sure we do this right she's getting back into it so Sophie gets really nervous when she rides new horses and different horses is out of her comfort zone and we've been pushing her and pushing her and pushing her to ride new horses and to ride bigger horses and she's starting to really pick it up you guys It's unfortunate that we live in a society where people don't like to see things unless they're perfected. And we've even had people say we shouldn't show things unless they look perfect. And I don't want to be that kind of a channel. I've always said from the beginning that I want to support people learning. I want to support people being in a process. Back and be lazy, right? Yeah. Remember, if you're going to have this much weight, you need this much more leg to press them in the So basically, Sophie's having to change so much about her riding and learn so much about her riding, riding a different horse. When she rode a, a faster pony that just did everything and she sat there. So just sit with me, talking to the night and to the morning, building cat mystery. I don't think I ever want to go come closer next. Tell me, trying to find another way to say this, but I think, I think we were meant to be. You make me anxious. He's a lesson horse, isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> 
So I talked to our coach about what Sophie's going to be getting and and what and what he thinks that she needs. We've been talking about this for a while now and we definitely want her to have like a schoolmaster that still has a lot of life left in him. And so many of you guys have been sending us pictures and ads for horses. I love when you guys did that when we were searching for Storm and it's been amazing again to look at all these horses. Brandon wants some kind of a cross. Denver. Denver is such a good choice for her. I think I might be stuck on you. And allow him to just keep pressing. A little bit more support with that heel. I love the things you did, you did for me. For me, it seems that you're dropping clues. There's no need to rush, so let's just take our time. And you know what's weird is that even though Sophie's like really nervous and stuff, I can feel like when she gets going that she actually is enjoying Chino. Another thing I find really interesting about horses is that one person can ride a horse and it can be one way and then another person can ride a horse and bring out something completely different in the horse and that is... And that's like amazing. Like, put in the stirrups down. Reach down, good. So, feet tall with the body inside bed. Open that hand over your knee. Hand hip width. Half off a little bit. And then soft. All right, so we have lowered Sophie's stirrups. Oh, I think it looks way better. Because you're stuck on my mind. Sophie says he takes a lot of leg. Going. So let's talk what you would like to see Sophie get. So our coach has been looking and he's going to let us know when he finds something that's appropriate. I'm curious to hear from you guys. What would you like to see Sophie on? The one problem with these stirrups is that they are tricky. Try and take it off. Like uh, one leg I can do and one leg I can't do. They're so strong. Like Gabby can do it. Let's see the other side. Good boy, Gino. It, it feels like the stirrups are on. So I can try to pull my foot back down. It's still there. All right. Um. So one thing Sophie does not like is jumping down off of a giant horse. I've done it before too. And it's not fun. Don't you know that you're beautiful?